So the VIN plate, the VIN plate on this Mustang is gone. So I don't know what it is. Um, it looks like somebody actually just cut the roof or panel off of there, but it could have been a convertible. I'm not really sure. And we'll just keep walking down here. So I like the body lines of that, even though it's missing now. The whole front roof and all is cut off. Lots of Corvairs. Here's a Corvair. There's a Corvair. So we have a whole ton of Corvairs here. And what do we got? This would be a really cool rat rod. What was this? Two-tone convertible Delta 88. So it's a two-tone convertible Delta 88 right there. Oh, another T-Bird. Is that what is that? Pontiac. Pontiac some kind Kelly okay, there's an old 80s regal couple old old 50s stuff 50s 40s maybe and we've got a well there you go so you got a, an LTD that's a Ford LTD and that's a Mercury is that a Mercury with yeah Mercury suicide door Merc right there. I think that's a Merc. If not, it's a Lincoln. But I want to say that that one is probably a Merc. Is it a Lincoln? Nope, it's a Lincoln. It's got the Lincoln badge on it. So that's cool. And then we have a Cadillac. Let's see. Friday, Saturday nights. Bonus Sunday nights. Halloween something. So this was some kind of a promotional car before it died for Halloween. That's a Nova or an Apollo. A lot of stuff, like I said, I can't tell what some of it is because it's been here for a long time. And a badging is missing, but I can kind of look. Like, I don't know what that is. Like, what is that? I like the steering wheel. No clue. If you know what that is, let me know. What's this? Is this a Lincoln? Hmm. Let's see. This is a 98. 98. So that's an old, old 98 right there. Mopar. Another Mopar. A bee's nest. Or a wasp nest full of burned out Mustang 2. So the Mustang 2, which you're starting to come back, you're starting to find more. I rarely ever saw them in junkyards for a while. Now I'm starting to find them. There's your Pinto station wagon. Oldsmobile. Ford. Mustang. So notchback Mustang. Light blue, baby blue. Last on the road in 93. That's pretty sad. What do we got there? Buick. Another suicide door. Lincoln. There's just all kinds of fun stuff in this yard. I would say that you could come and spend the day here, but I'm here spending the day, so I guess that would be redundant. Hmm. Anyway, moving on. So we got a um, got the Ford Ranchero, big old Dodge. That'd be cool to make into a police car, and. A couple of these old Ford Econoline uh, vans. And of course, another one. Oh, what is that? So it looks like we have some kind of exotic or kit car here. 
Is that the... That's a VW, I think. That's a VW wagon, maybe? I'm not sure. VW wagon, right? A couple 80s cars from 2016. We got a couple of the Marks. I think that's a Mark V. I think that's a Mark III. But what is this? Is this a kit car? A, I would say this was some kind of a kit car. Just by looking at the dashboard, it looks like it was a kit. Oh, there's another one. What are they? What are these? Kit cars? Kit car shells? I don't know. Oh, you know, I'm wondering, is this those things that went on the Fieros? Because back, so back in the day, the Pontiac people made a Fiero, but had a body that looked like a 308 Ferrari. I can't think of what they were called, 206s or something. They made them for a while, then they got sued for copyright infringement. And I'm just wondering if that's what these bodies are. If you know what I'm talking about, put in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that that's what these are. These were plastic bodies, but you could buy them from the dealership, from Pontiac, for a while till they got sued for copyright infringement. Anyway, that's really cool. Never saw any of these in the, or they're just kit cars, but I'm pretty sure that's what they were. So you got a hearse, old Cadillac hearse, T-Birds, another Delta 88. Man, there's a lot of Delta 88s in this place. What is this? It's obviously Mopar. I don't know what that one is, but that's definitely Mopar backlights. Another Corvair. I'm not even gonna start, I'm not calling out Corvairs anymore because they got a lot of Corvairs here. There's one of those little Volkswagen station wagons again. So, oh, remember the Bronco 2? Bronco 2 is kind of coming out like what the new Bronco is. It's about the same size platform. AMC Eagle, maybe, or a Hornet. Is that an Eagle or a Hornet? Not sure. There's a T-Bird, four-door T-Bird. Convertible, oh, well, a Jeepster. There's a Jeepster. An Opal. I don't know if you guys remember the Opals back in the day. They were like a poor man's Corvette when they came out. You can't afford a Corvette, you buy the Opal. A couple more Bronco 2s. And another suicide door Lincoln. Ow. Yes, I just stepped on something and said ow. All right. As we're moving along. Oh, Got to watch for deer ticks. Need to watch for the deer ticks. There's a lot of ticks. Down here, I found one on my sock yesterday. All right, what is this? Schmitz Motorsports, 11.58 minutes to midnight. Hang in there, babe. Derby season is almost over. So this was somebody's crash him up derby call. Hall of Horrors. So, if you know anything about this car, put it in the remarks. I'm thinking it came from Pennsylvania somewhere, maybe New York, maybe New Jersey, but probably Pennsylvania since we're in the mountains of Pennsylvania. And it's probably with something local. But anyway, there you go. Here's another Mopar. Pretty cool. Oh, what are these cars? Because I love those back windows. Is that a Nash? Do I, do I want to say Nash? Is that a Nash? Or, hmm, I don't know. But look at that windshield. That is not safety glass, folks. If that was safety glass, it wouldn't have, like, the cracks like that in it. Wouldn't be shattered that way. Anyway, what else we got here? Um, here's a two-door, another Mopar. Okay. Trailer. Nope, that's a pickup truck without the front motor on it or front cab on it so somebody took the cab 
All right. And we're moving, we're walking. Ah, the dreaded ass wipe car. I'm wondering, let's see, 2010. If it says ass wipe or spray painted on it in 2010, that means the child would be, uh, let's see, 2010. Nobody said there'd be math. It's 21. So there's an 11 year old kid attached to that car, I'll bet you. And that was dad's car, maybe. I don't know. There's a story there. We know there's a story there. All right, so this was on the road in 2012. Now it's here. Lots of big views. Oh, we got us a duster. Or a demon. Demon, duster, duster, demon. Not much left of it. Oh, there's a 73 Chevelle right there. 73 Chevelle, two door. Maybe a Laguna, maybe not. Then we have the Chevelle four door. And a couple old cut lifts. You've got, what is that, a 67, 68 Impala there. A TR7. Don't see a lot of TR7s even in junkyards. So I would say I've had maybe three or four total that I've seen in all the junkyards we've been walking. Cool station wagon, another LTD. This is what, a 67, 68? Impala, what's left of it? There's nothing left the trunk. Somebody needed the trunk and some other pieces. The Volvo with flames, which adds at least 10 horsepower. Oh, this even had Summit racing equipment on it. So we're talking factory race car right there. No, it's not a factory race car. That's his factory race car. This is as factory of a race car as this is. And that's a Valari station wagon. Okay. Another Dodge four-door family vehicle. Hope everybody was okay after that bang up. And we got a Trans Am. Trans Am, let's think. Trans Am or Camaro, I'm calling it a Firebird. Is it a Firebird? I'm thinking Firebird. I don't know why. It just yells out Firebird to me. Could be a Camaro, but I'm thinking Firebird. So another Riviera. A little Mercedes. A Scout. A 73 Mustang. Pontiac Station Wagon. So they're cool. We're getting there. A lot of these little sports cars. I guess everybody's too old for them now that bought them in the 70s. A lot of Fords. A lot of the uh, Mark 5s, Mark 3s. There's a Pontiac Grand Am there. Another Mercury. What is that thing? That looks like a Delta 88. That's an Oldsmobile. I'm not sure. Could be a Buick. Could be an Oldsmobile. Let's see. Still has its plate on. That's a recent plate. Here's that. Oh, five th from 2008. So it's been here for a while. Is that a Sprint? Not sure. And we just got all kinds of stuff. Another Volkswagen uh, van thing. A lot of convertibles. A lot of convertibles in the junkyard here. I wonder why that is. Seems like there's more convertibles in the junkyard in Pennsylvania than there are in Florida. So I don't know whether that just means people don't destroy them in Florida or that they really get destroyed up here. So I'm not really sure. Ooh, AMC Eagle station wagon. And I know on Rutledge Woods show that he had they remade one of these and evidently parts are pretty hard to find so um he, he they redid one for somebody on the show but there's an amc uh eagle wagon because you could tell because it has the see the skirts around the the wheel well that's the eagle and then a jeepster body full jeepster body right there A 
wonder if they were selling cold brews here and they're just out. Let's see. This is uh, Yingling, which is America's oldest brewery and here in Pennsylvania. Here you go. Is this a Nomad or a four-door? I think this is a four-door or two-door station wagon, but it could have been a Nomad. Not sure which one. There's a Thunderbird. Got some old stuff here. Some old cool stuff here. Um, yeah, I think that's going to need some realignment on the doors on that one. So I love these big old 50s cars. Look at this old 50s pickup truck. Now, did somebody make that into a pickup truck? Because I've never seen a bed like that. So I don't know if it's a custom made bed or not. There's a Monte Carlo. Another Thunderbird. El Camino, I think. Can't tell, it's so buried. And what do we got here? Convertible Mustang. It's a convertible Mustang? Or is that a Camaro? Let's see. Or, no, it's neither. All right. Man, I got tricked on that one. I may get tricked on a lot of them. There's a, was an Eldorado convertible there. A couple trucks. There's the Torino version of the Ford. Um, anyway, there's the Torino version of that. Another of the 40 Conlines, another TR7. Le Car. La Boom. Upside down Jeep body. Guess they need the frame. Got a Mustang here. What's that, 64, 65? Six cylinder. Let's see, does it have the plate on it? Does not have a plate on it. There's the hood for it. Somebody took the VIN. There's a lot of these up here. All right. And we're walking, we're walking. Gosh, there's a lot of the marks, a lot of the two-door Continental marks here. All right, how we doing? You guys hanging in with me? There's a lot here, isn't there? Yeah, hanging in. We're like 18 minutes in. 18, 20 minutes in. And we still have all this to go. So if you like this kind of stuff, please subscribe. If you ring the bell, you'll find out when I'm putting up stuff. This will probably have to be a two-parter. So let me do that now.